Hello, and today we're talking about Merlin, the magician and alchemist, who was an aspect of Saint Germain. He was a wizard. He was in King Arthur's court, where he could raise the elements and allow a mist to rise up so that it hid the secrets of Avalon. He could soothe the waves. He came from Saturn, which is the plane of self-discipline, and it governs your base chakra, which is where you learn to trust the universe. Now, coming from Saturn and working with the power of self-discipline, that was what enabled him to master alchemy and magic. So perhaps you'd like to close your eyes and get ready to meet him. Find yourself on a beach, soft sand, beautiful sea, but there are also rocks and cliffs. And this is where you can feel the wind on your face, the salt spray on your lips might even be able to taste it. And then Merlin, tall and stately, is coming towards you, wearing a cloak of blue lined with gold. It is Merlin himself, the wise one, the alchemist, the prophet, the magician. He comes up to you and touches your shoulder with his staff. You may feel a heat moving up from the base of your spine, right up your back and moving out of your head. Whether you can feel it or not, he is activating your Kundalini and sharing some of his power. Now, he stands beside you on the shore. He holds his hands out towards the ocean and radiates Christ light over the lashing waves. Do the same. Standing beside him, feel the Christ light pouring from your hands, pure, unconditional love. And at once the waves subside, they become calm, the ripples gently, the sea soothed. And the great Merlin turns and smiles at you. He spreads his deep blue cloak lined with gold over you. And instantly, you are both at Avalon in Somerset, now known as Glastonbury. It's a beautiful sunny day. The bees are gently buzzing, insects quietly humming, heat baking down from a blue sky. You sit and relax. Allow yourself to surrender into the capable arms of Merlin the magician. And you watch as dark clouds appear on the horizon. Instantly, you and Merlin stand up and raise your arms. A deep, dense mist rises from the earth. You are in a white world. You can see nothing. Merlin smiles again, even though you can't see it, 
and says, my magic powers are seeping into you. It is time. Breathe them in now. Just take your time to breathe in the Merlin energy. Just allowing it to seep deep into you. Yes. And then you are moving again out of the mist. This time you find yourself in Stonehenge, the ancient, most powerful two way interdimensional portal. Long Long ago, Merlin blessed the stones for Stonehenge with magical vibrations in order to support it as a seventh dimensional, interdimensional portal. Together, you are doing a great task with the energy, the power that you have received from Merlin, you are reinforcing his original energy. Feel the light and the power flowing through you and from you to bless those stones. And Merlin is gravely thanking you for using your power for the highest good of the planet and the universe. And so now he's asking you where you would like to go. Maybe somewhere personal. It may be somewhere for the planet. Tell him and together you are instantly there in this place that needs to be re-energized, re-empowered, lit up with sacred magical energy to help it perform the task that it's right to do. Whether you have come to your home to make it into a portal of light or to some other place, just have a sense as you stand there holding your hands out that great light and power is flowing through you and Merlin together to raise the frequency. You may have a sense of this light having a color, but know that at this moment, you are using your power, your magic, your alchemy for the highest good of all. And it is pouring through you via Merlin to change and light some place up on the planet. And then Merlin is taking you back to where you started. And as you say goodbye, you know that something has been activated 
within you. Accept it. And then open your eyes. Thank you.